Hello everyone. So now we are going to discuss the part 3 for the matrices. So given that the matrices A, find the adjoint of A. So previously, we already discussed how to find the minor and followed by how to determine the cofactor. So now we are going to find out what is the adjoint. So in here, adjoint of A actually is equals to the cofactor transpose. So what does it mean by transpose? So meaning that we reverse the order. Okay. For example, C31. Okay. If we reverse the order, it will be C13. So for this case, we are going to transpose the situation. So the adjoint of A is equals to C transpose. So meaning that the row will become the the row will become the column. So for this case, C11, it will still be the same C11. So the location will be over here. So for this part, the name of the element is C12. If we transpose it, it will become C12, it will become C21. So here will be the location. Next, C13, reverse C31. Where's the location of 31? It's over here. So next, we're going to determine the location for C21. C21, we reverse it, it will become C12. So here is the location. Okay, so follow by C22. Still be the same at the middle. So lastly, C23. If we reverse it, it will become C32. So here is the location for 32. And same as well for the row 3. The row 3 will become a column 3. So finally, my answer will be negative 1, negative 1 and 1. So that is the product for the adjoint of A, so which is equals to C transpose. So here we are and thanks for watching.